This section of the video is about the nitrogen cycle. Nitrogen is important for life. Uh, proteins are made from it and if you're talking about the use of nitrogen it's for protein which is for growth. The first thing you need to understand is the forms of nitrogen uh, that you might find in the nitrogen cycle. So you've got nitrogen gas, N2, you've got nitrates which is an iron, or iron, NO3 minus, and you've got ammonium ions, NH4 plus. Now you might also hear of nitrites, which are related to nitrates, and ammonia itself, which mixed with water makes the ammonium iron. Um, so, the nitrates are the form in which uh, nitrogen is absorbed by plants, and the ammonium is mainly associated with decaying material and waste products. Once you understand the forms of nitrogen you can have, this next stage is to understand the, what the bacteria do, the role of the bacteria in the cycle. Um, so there are three types of bacteria and they do one of two things. They either make nitrates or they remove nitrates denitrifying bacteria remove nitrates denitrifying remove nitrates nitrifying make nitrates from ammonia or ammonium compounds and then we've also got nitrogen fixing bacteria which make nitrates from nitrogen gas directly now here is a diagram of a nitrogen cycle can you fill in the gaps. Right, first of all let's check what we've got. We've got plants and animals and then we've got nitrogen in the air, in the air spaces in the soil, as nitrates in the soil and as ammonium ions and then these four boxes here are where our bacteria go. So first of all can we explain what the arrows do? Well we've got nitrogen in the air up here and nitrogen in the air down here so that's just movement of air so we can do that one. Movement of air or diffusion of air into the soil. Then how does the uh, nitrogen as nitrates get into the plants? Uh, well that's just going to be absorption by the roots so nitrates are absorbed by the roots. Then plants, nitrogen in plants getting into animals is going to be by eating and then from animals into the soil is going to be by death and decay. So that's fairly straightforward I think. The tricky bit always will be getting the bacteria in the right places. So let's see what we remember. Denitrifying bacteria remove nitrates. We've got an arrow here which is going from nitrates in the soil to nitrogen in the air. So this removal of nitrates in the soil is going to be denitrifying bacteria. Then we've got making of nitrates and we've got making of nitrates here from ammonium ions, ammonia containing compounds so that is going to be the nitrifying bacteria and then finally we've got the nitrates being made here by uh, bacteria directly from nitrogen in the air spaces and here we've got nitrogen being incorporated into plants by bacteria so they are both nitrogen fixing bacteria. Now I just need to explain this part a little bit and, and the term legumes. Legumes is uh, a term given to certain type of plant which have root nodules um, so they're little nodules on the roots that actually contain uh, nitrogen fixing bacteria. So they are kept in there by the plant to directly convert nitrogen gas into nitrates for the plant. So examples are beans, peas and clover. So they're very good for getting nitrogen from the air to the plant. And then finally the thing we haven't mentioned yet is lightning. A lightning strike has sufficient energy to combine nitrogen and oxygen directly into nitrates.